do the Ravens have the best offense? Especially you talking about Thunder and Lightning with him and Eric Henry, who has been on a tear yeah. for the last three, four weeks. I have my questions about the Ravens. I mean, obviously, right now, we're talking about right now, so let me not get too far ahead of myself. Um, right now, yeah, I say they do have the best offense in football. I think that they're the most explosive offense in football right now because they're marrying the run in the past game really, really well, right? They're able to run out of the eye and get Derek Hill, Derek uh, Henry, Derek Henry running uh, running downhill. Um, and I, I think that when you marry that with the idea of a play action game, um, and you have you're getting Zay Flowers the football, which is is a good idea. Thank you, Lamar, for finally doing that. Uh, but when you're able to do that. Um, and play off of those two guys, it, it, everyone else starts to eat. Rashad Bateman, you start to see him a little more. Mark Andrews finally got a catch, even though he's running two miles an hour every route. He's starting to get the football a little more uh, as well. And so, and even likely, you know, they're keeping likely involved, right? After a great week one, I'm, you know, he fell off the face of the earth, but now you're starting to see him a little bit more in the offense. So slowly but surely, you're, you're starting to see him play on time more. I think with him, it's about playing on time. Get the football out on time. We don't have to make – and not every play has to be a spectacular play where you're running around playing backyard football. And so the less you see that, the more you see runs downhill, the more you see him throwing the ball out on time, the better they're going to be. And I think they've been doing a better job of those things. It's less of that chaotic style of football where you're trying to make guys miss and you're, you're, not, you're not getting the ball out on time, right, less of that and more being on script. And you're seeing that. So they are better because they have a lot of talent. Right. And so it, it was just about being getting the ball out where it needs to go at the correct moment to do so. So credit to them. Yeah, I think they're the best offense in football and Super Bowl team, as they are every year. But let's just see if he can go beat that light skin dude up in Kansas City when it comes down to that moment. Because that's what it's, it's, that's what's going to come down to it. Make no mistake about it. We're going we're gonna to have we're going to see, though. We're going to see that's still gonna, my questions about him. That's going to come down to whether Lamar can make all these throws in the playoffs. Like, sure. Exactly. Like I said last week, he. He can do all this in the regular season. I mean, Lamar in the regular season between September and January is Hall of Famer. It's just mm-hmm. when he gets into uh, late January, it gets a little dicey. We, you know, hands get smaller, ball gets bigger, it's breathing a little heavier. So I'm more worried about that. I'm not worried about them playing well. Like this offense is humming right now. They got Derrick Henry. Um, and he just wears out a defense. I mean, you see guys are afraid to tackle him once he gets past the, the first wave of defenders. And that's just going to make it easier for them to, you know, throw off of that. And they've been spreading it around. You know, Bateman's starting to get more involved. I I think they should get him more involved more often. I think he's their second most talented pass catcher on this team. If we're being frank, like Mark Andrews is recovering from a foot injury. Uh, that he had surgery on in the offseason, likely inconsistent. And then Zay Flowers is your best best playmaker. So um, get some of those guys more involved so they feel appreciated and they're not running routes like Amari Cooper, and you'll have something special. So 